Homemade Holiday Week is in full swing, and here with a really unique gift idea is Nora Zynan, who is going to teach us how to make a custom perfume blend with essential oils. Welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Oh, we're really happy to be here, that you're here and going to teach us this. I feel like this is such a great gift idea for somebody. It really is, and it can be really personalized to the person. You know, um, you, you find the oils that, that that person is drawn to, and you can really uh, make a, an, a personalized perfume. That's wonderful. Yep. How do we get started? Okay. Well, um, first of all, I want to let people know that essential oils are pure compounds from plants. They are aromatic plant compounds and that you need to be really careful with essential oils. You need to know your stuff. You need to do your research on the quality of them. Um, so um, for the purposes of a perfume, we have them divided into top notes, middle notes, and base notes. And what is a top note about? Is that the note that you first smell? Is that why they call it a top note? That is exactly it. It's the first to evaporate. It has a, generally a lighter scent. So middle notes, uh, and so examples of that are lemon, yeah. which we just oh, smelled. I know. I can't get. I love smelling these things. All right, I'm gonna smell the lemon again. And spearmint is another really nice um, top note. And you also smell grapefruit. I love grapefruit. Yeah. And like you said before, each of these oils have a, has a special meaning or uh, a an purpose. emotional quality to an them. An emotional quality. And what did we say that grapefruit was honoring the body? Grapefruit is the oil of honoring the body. Mm -hmm. And you asked, how did who says that? Who says yeah, that? Yeah. How is did the, it? How how did it? You are honoring the body. You are this. You know, how did it come about? So things? essential oils have been used for thousands of years by the Egyptians, the Chinese, Hippocrates, the, fathers of, the father of medicine used them. And so um, somebody collected that generational information and put it into books. There are books called Emotions and Essential Oils. And they've just been passed down for generations and generations? Yep, and centuries and thousands of years. Yeah. So if you're going to make this as a gift, you could kind of refer to, to something like that. Look up online or find yourself a book so you could find the properties that match with the person you're making the fragrance right, for. Right, right. If How you nice. want to address a specific problem, yep. Um, middle notes. Middle notes. They add a little bit more um, body to um, the recipe. And um, so you have pulled out rosemary. Rosemary. And rosemary is, let's look and see what that one is. Notice how I'm picking on like the food. <laughs> 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 That's no surprise. <laughs> rosemary is a really good brain function oil. Ah. So it's the oil of knowledge and transition. Nice. Okay. Helps and people then, make um, transitions. The last note is the base note and we have let's see frankincense actually is um, a beautiful beautiful oil just called the king of oils and it has the emotional quality of truth hmm. so it is the oil of truth if we were going to make one of these because i know you hold workshops on um, making perfume with essential oils all throughout the area you have one coming up at the uh, northampton senior center december 19th yep if we were going to make one uh can we kind of put one together right now yes absolutely okay. i picked out three oils but normally what in a class you would get to pick out the oils that are meaningful to you mm -hmm. so i picked out bergamot which is what is bergamot bergamot is the oil of self-acceptance okay <laughs> all right and lavender, which is the oil of communication. Mm -hmm. So our That's top apt. note is bergamot, which oh, top notes are typically citrus oils. All right. Um, and a few others, like eucalyptus is also, um, and eucalypt eucalyptus is the oil of wellness. Mm -hmm. Lavender is the oil of truth. That's our middle note. And I also picked out frankincense, as we said, the oil of um, truth. Okay, and yeah. then you get a little roller bottle like you have here. So this is a 10 milliliter bottle, which is essentially two teaspoons. And yep, it has a cap. And I typically like to put the bottle in uh, a base so that it doesn't fall over and you lose all your oils. Plus these oils are really strong. They're really strong. Very, and they, and very they, concentrated. Very concentrated. And they should always be in um, a glass or metal container because they will um, interact with plastics. Really? Very yeah. interesting. Okay, so how much of the... Notes so a top note is typically three to four drops. A middle note is basically two to three drops, and um, a base note is one to two drops. Okay. And you can do it to your balance, to what really um, speaks to you. And you just, so how many of the top note, two? Two to three, or three to four. Three to four top note. You tap it, one, two, three, four. four. Good. Ooh, save. Okay. And then middle note, how many? Two to three. Two to three. One, two, three, and then the last one. Two to three? One to two. One to two. I should know this. You have to tip that one upside down. That bottle's a little low. Yeah. Okay, one, two. 
Let me help. All right, and then once you get all those essential oils in there, is there some sort of a treatment that you have to give them or something? So then you mix them with a carrier oil, and carrier oils are typically vegetable-based oils. I have fractionated coconut oil here mm -hmm. and grapeseed oil, and so I have poured out um, two teaspoons of fractionated coconut oil, and we're going to add that. I'll let you do it. All right, thank you. All right, we'll pour that right in. And that just blends nicely with the other oils? So the base notes will harmonize the blend and the carrier oil will just distribute the blend and um, eventually over after 24 hours it'll really stew quite nicely. Let's make sure that's on. Snap that on and there yeah. you go. And this would make a wonderful homemade holiday gift for somebody with a little note telling about the essential oil used and their properties. You can right. personalize it. Thank right. you so much for being here and teaching me how to make this great gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.